Good morning and welcome back to The Daily Vitamin, where you get your daily dose of spiritual sweetness. Today, my loves, we have Conscious Consumer. Conscious Consumer. You have the power to heal and help the world with your decision to buy only products and services that are ethical and environmentally friendly. As a conscious consumer, you choose to invest in fair trade and organic goods. You live simply and you purchase only that which you need. (laughs) I know, I always have to be a problem child. I'm laughing because I'm going back and forth with my guides on this one. Only because... Here's, here's the thing. I actually feel like this is talking more about consuming, like media, information, content, education. Like, what are you choosing to believe? Because I don't, I don't believe that your angels are going to tell you, like, buy the organic produce or buy those solar panels. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> because marketing campaigns are really powerful. And business and politics are in bed together and there's a lot of information that we as a society have just been spoon-fed for so long that we believe so inherently that we are voting with our dollars that we are making a difference by buying certain products when really it could not be farther from the truth like (laughs) i know i have to be a problem child so i'm going to talk about it i'm going to talk about i'm sorry if this upsets anyone i'm sorry if i'm like you know cracking any false beliefs but you know hey we're talking about authenticity and this is this is what what where my mind is going with this card today recycling is an example all my life I thought I was a good steward I was like that that nerdy girl who's you know at the lunch table I'm like getting my milk carton and I'm like breaking it down and I'm rinsing it out and I'm making sure I'm like putting my utensils in the proper bin and I always thought like I was doing my service to mother earth I was helping to protect the planet you know like earth day was one of my favorite holidays I even have a little earth day shirt all about it until I learned that like I think it's something insane like it might be 95 percent or it could be something greater than that like maybe like 97 percent of what we think we are recycling it, it, it's not doing anything. It's not going anywhere except for our oceans. It's going to landfills. It's being buried underground. Um, it's being dumped off of islands, right? So our, what we think we're actually recycling is not being recycled. And that little like three arrow symbol is actually, I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's like a chemical symbol. So anything with like a certain chemical it has nothing to do with recycling, but it has to do with, with the chemistry of it so there's something where it ties into the business of it so bear with me for like not being able to regurgitate exactly what the the flawed system is but ever since then i've been feeling a little um a little chapped about the whole recycling process same thing with solar panels when solar panels first came out i was like this is amazing this is genius like i feel like a solar panel right i know there are many of you that feel like a solar panel you feel rejuvenated and re-energized whenever you get some sunshine some vitamin d But the majority of solar panels, if they're damaged or if they break or if they go wrong, there's really no great way to dispose of old solar panels. They actually leak even more toxic chemicals that will take like thousands of years to disintegrate. And they leak them into the ground. They leak them into our water supply. They actually do a lot more damage than good. And we think that we're, you know, dodging the the power station. So... I'm kind of going off on a rant here because there's a lot of like false information around what you're buying being, you know, good for the planet or like, you know, like I said, like voting with your dollars, you know, like buying an electric vehicle. My vehicle is it's like a half and half, right? It's a hybrid. So, you know, I'm I'm part of this, too. But there's such a, a heavy hitting marketing campaign around like buying these very expensive things or putting a lot of time or money and investing in things that actually like are not what we're being sold in the long term it it really isn't that much better it's actually like to deviate and defer away from areas that really do provide help and support and sustenance to the earth i kind of feel like i'm going off on a rant here so i'm asking my guides like why am i getting carried away with this and they're saying it's it's this is testimony of okay so they're saying me ranting and raving like this actually is testimony of being a conscious consumer so if i am recycling i have the awareness now because of 
what I've researched, because of what I've learned, because of what I've been paying attention to. I know what actually goes into it. Maybe recycling that 5% is better than nothing, right? So making that choice, like that is a conscious choice that I can actively participate in. Okay, well, at least something <laughs> is getting recycled. You know, hey, maybe solar panels are a good idea. You just have to put them in a way that they don't get damaged very easily, right? So there's a sense here of like really being aware <clears throat> of who you're choosing to blindly believe. And I don't feel like this is like a person or individual. I really feel like there's a sales energy, um, you know, campaign, marketing. Here's, here's the thing, my friends. So I'm, I've recently picked up just the insatiable interest in learning all about business and marketing. Cause when I was in school, mar marketing has changed. Like not just within the last decade, but within like the last two or three years, there's some foundations and some principles that will never change. But the way that marketing is done and the way that, you know, the economy is and the culture and society, all of that has changed. So I'm, I'm really, I've been fascinated and been trying to learn as much as I can to kind of stay apprised and stay up on the times. But one of the things that, is always taught in in business and in marketing is that there has to be like an element of like scarcity or fear and I'm, you know i'm sorry if i'm giving away all the secrets but there has to be some level of like if you don't buy this or if you don't make this choice there's going to be a consequence and is this a consequence that you're going to want to live with and that is necess necessarily supposed to motivate the buyers to you know give the business give the, the company give whatever their money so i feel that there's um a message here of not being so easy to take advantage of uh as i'm saying this i'm thinking of a, a recent email that i just got from a client i haven't seen her in years and a lovely lovely young girl and she said that she's been thinking about wanting to get a healing session done she had a specific thing that she wanted to um, take a look at and she was watching this video, the reason that she was even inspired, because she was watching a video from this other healer that her, her, the other healer really resonated. She liked her video, but when she went to her website, one, one session was something like $450, which to her, for the level of time that they spend together, was just, it was just way too much. It was just way too much. And she just felt like, you know, maybe there's another option, but she was afraid to move in a different direction because this healer apparently was promoting themselves as um see i don't i don't want to denigrate anyone else's path or work um i'll just say it like this there's there's this element of scarcity there's an element of of fear-based programming there's an element of um I, I just wouldn't want to operate in that way personally. I'll just I'll just leave it at that. I wouldn't want to operate in that way personally. You know, I'm not trying to tell anyone what to charge and what not to charge. You charge whatever you feel that you're worth. You charge whatever people will pay, right? That's, that's again, that's a part of business. It's a part of marketing yourself. However, I feel that it's important to know that you always have options. You always have choices. And sometimes the choices are, you know what? I don't actually need that at all. I don't even need that at all. That's not something that I need to invest in or buy or purchase because I'm, I'm recognizing within myself, I'm noticing within myself, this is coming from a place of lack or of fear, or this is touching my own trigger point. <sighs> I know, I know. I'm, I'm laughing with my guides because I'm saying like, I feel like I'm giving away, you know, like the, the, the secrets of the trade, you know, like that's, that's kind of like one of the, the benchmarks of marketing. There's a whole way to do it. And one of the benchmarks is you, you take a consumer on a journey, right? You take them from their pain point and you give them a result. But in order to get them to act fast, you want to lace in some kind of fear or scarcity. And this is probably why I'm not a millionaire yet, because I just don't like operating that way. I just don't. Um, I don't know. I believe in empowerment. I really believe in you standing in your power. Like, do you feel like this is a good decision for you? Does it make you feel empowered to make this decision? That's when you make the decision. Does it make you feel scared if you don't make the decision? Do you feel like you're missing out? Do you feel like you're, I don't know, you're being bullied into this decision? That's, I don't make the decision then. <laughs> That's not a good place to make the decision. So, gosh, I really hope that, you know, someone needed to hear this today because I feel like I just kind of 
rambled and ranted a little bit <laughs> but you know hey whatever comes through is what comes through so i'm just gonna trust it and i'm just gonna go with it and uh yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it right there my friends <laughs> and i and i hope you come back tomorrow after after today's message i hope to see you here again tomorrow <laughs> hope that it's scary away with that my friends i'm sending you so much love and i will see you manana bye